Unless the dog owner asks for the lashes to specifically be saved, um, we're just doing our job. So we're trying to get the job done in a safely manner. And sometimes safety is more important than the aesthetic look. She's still a puppy. So trying to carefully save those lashes is not always appropriate for the specific situation that we're in. Okay, I'm gonna show you how to do this. This is my dog. If you fill their mouth, there is a bone right here at the bottom, and you're gonna take your thumb and you're gonna put your thumb in between that bone, those that open space right there. Then you're going to grab the rest of your fingers and you're going to wrap it around the top of the dog's mouth. And this is going to keep it really safe so that you can cut around the mouth without accidentally hurting the dog. You can all everybody says that with black nails, there's some white dot that tells you where to stop. My dog has black nails and there's literally no white dot that is telling you where to stop trimming on his nails. So for dogs that have black nails, I typically use a nail file. I find that a lot safer, but if you want to trim off some of the nail, my suggestion would be to take off this little tiny tip right here and that's it. So let's see if I can get it on camera. I'm a little wobbly. I don't think I got it. All right. This little bit right there did you see that that's all you're going to take off and then once you get that taken off then you can actually file the nail all right and this is what his paw looks like after all his nails are done. Still no white dot.